to rotate an image you can use some built-in function and also you can uh, rotate an image by changing the row and column okay and I will show you both ways so let's start writing our code first I will just read an image And the image have to be inside that folder or else you need to actually write the uh, direction also before the name of your image so here after this I will try to show this one okay so let's go to that folder DIP select the folder and now it will run you will not see any error okay so after this we can actually see our original image so we will actually rotate it 90 degree by 90 degree angle so for that you can write it like this I am rotate this is the built-in function so here you need to give the name of the image that you want to rotate and then the angle so the image name is a and the angle will be 90 degree that is how we can actually rotate an image by using built-in function but we can actually um, do this thing by changing the position of the row and column you need to actually understand the basic concept that is why I will show the um, task manually also after this so first we are just resizing the image by 3 and then we will show the change that what has actually changed uh, in the before and after the rotate and we will just uh, see one plane one color plane and here is the red color plane here you can see this value is actually you can see the change of the position the row are actually changed by the column value and the column value are actually in the row as you can see them so that is how we are actually rotating each position of these values the column value will be rip, uh, going to the left position on the row and the row value will be actually on the column so after understanding this we can actually write this uh, code manually by using some for loop and before that we need to actually get the size of our image for uh, this for loops so let's delete this portion and now first we will get the total size of our image and for that we need to write row column and then the color plane z and then equal to size of a and here inside the for loop we will use i equal 1 till r and it will be incremented by 1 there will be another one that will be actually j And now here this is our new image that will be B and we need to put the value of A inside B but we will change the position so here we will write I J and all the value of K or the color plane and here we will write J I and all the value let me save this file here we just changing the position of our row and column you can see now exactly same thing that we have actually seen after using the built-in function I am rooted okay you can see we only change the position of I and J the row and column so if we again use 90 degree rotation by the function then we can actually see it again turning 90 degree angle 